when that space opened up in front of you in the second half, did you just think, why not have a shot? Why not? Yeah, obviously, as I was getting closer to the goal, I just decided I might as well shoot because I had the space. And obviously with the crowd as well getting behind you, so yeah, I just went for it. How aware were you of the roar of the crowd when the ball went in? I never knew the ball. Was amazing. I never knew the ball. The ball went in. So obviously, when you hear the crowd, you're like, "Oh wow!" Then I just didn't know what to do. I was just over the moon. When it left your foot, did you think, "I want to yeah, have this"? When I, I hit, this right. I did know I did hit it cleanly. So then the rest take care of itself. It's been a heck of a week for you. How much of a heads up did you get? How much of a heads up did the head co head coach give you that you were going to be involved this week? Um, obviously, I've been training with them since since pre-season. Yeah. Obviously, I've done well in the pre-season games, but I just, I just, I just took it as, as they came by. The manager said I was playing, I was ready, but I usually, I was a bit surprised for obviously the Super Cup game as well. But it shows that my work has paid off. What a few days for Trevor Chalabar. He made his first team debut for Chelsea in midweek in the Super Cup win uh, over Villarreal. He scored his first Premier League goal in Chelsea blue, and he joined the club when he was eight years old. And you can imagine now, taking that into context, how, why he was so emotional when he scored the goal. Yeah, you can. And I don't think it's that easy to come in and play as a centre-half when you're so young. Either. You normally you know, see attacking players or, or even if it's a centre-half playing full-back to start with, just bedding mm. them in. But I do think it's a position that a young lad like Chalabar can come in and make his own because I don't think they're that strong. You know, you've got players that are, are ageing back there. Um, it's a, it's a position where, where, where you can make a, maybe an imprint into this team. And it was a brilliant strike. I mean, he's not going to be scoring too many of these in his career, but this is icing on the cake. This is a bonus and a, and a great moment for the youngster. Yeah, it's a great strike, as Michael said. And a young player as well. He's been at the club for a long time. He's been out on loan a, a two or three times, I think. Yeah, so he's yeah. got a little bit of experience and done really well. He'd be, he'd be tough in that goal. Yeah, uh, Chelsea were clearly the dominant side uh, across the 90 minutes, particularly in that first half. But it took them until 26 minutes to take the lead. Marcus Alonso with a trademark free kick, really. He scores a lot of goals, doesn't he, for a left back? Um, and when he's put the ball down here, you always fancy him to, to, uh, to hit the ball into that far corner. Goalkeeper doesn't move a muscle. Uh, the free kick in the lead up to it was debatable. Um, but there was nothing debatable about this second goal. Again, Mount was involved in it down on that right-hand side, a 1-2, and Pulisic is there to mop it up, Scolzi. Yeah, I, I, I blame the keeper for both goals. Well, not for both goals, I think the, the first one's a good free kick. I think he could have at least made his way over to that near post for the free kick. He didn't move, we all know where Alonso's going, and that one as well. He, look, he does well to cut it out from Werner, of course, just from the top. To, to stop a tapping for him, but again, he just parries it out straight into where Pulisic is, and it's, you know, it's good anticipation for Pulisic as well, give him credit for that. Uh, and it puts Chelsea in perfect heart going into two tough away games, uh, Liverpool uh, and Arsenal, both on the road, but they've got Romelu Lukaku to come back. And look, if you also factor in the fact that they made five changes to the side that won the Super Cup in midweek, I mean, we are, we are seeing a Chelsea that has some proper squad depth. I mean, we knew that last season, but with Lukaku into the equation, does that give, make them a, a new force for you, a much stronger force? Definitely a much stronger force. Yeah. I know a lot of people that fancy them to win the league this season. Thomas Tuchel himself was asked, and, and the reporter was put it to them, that they're favourites this season. I yeah. wouldn't go that far. Uh, I still think Manchester City are the team to beat, mm. but they're very, very strong. They always were a strong team, uh, lacked a few goals, but they're hoping, obviously, Lukaku will come and fix that. And they've scored three goals today through different players. Mm. That will please Thomas Tuchel as well. Um, but they have to they have to get more goals. I mean, Scholes, he mentioned before, seven goals was their highest scorer last season. He was the penalty taker, yeah. um, which is a poor effort. You're not going to win the Premier League with a, with a tally like that. So mm. Lukaku has to come in and other players have to start scoring a lot more as well. OK, let's bring you all the goals from the uh, four other games that have just taken place. Starting